Hi guys, we are going to look at uh, today uh, basic logging into SAP system. How we are going to log into SAP system. So just a brief video. Uh, SAP is a very popular software which is used uh, by a lot of large Fortune 1000 and Fortune 500 companies. <clears throat> so when you when you log on to SAP, you basically will have uh, uh, like tool or piece of software in your desktop or laptop. The piece of software is basically a SAP logon pad. Uh, SAP logon or SAP logon pad. So if you double click on this tool, it will come up and show you <coughs> the multiple systems. So here I have six systems lined up in my SAP logon. So when I want to log on to one of the systems, I just click on system, click on log on. So once I click on log on, I, I get an option for a client, user, password and language. So since SAP is a multi-language, you can type in Spanish, German or French so that it can display in, our, in whatever language you want. So now I'm going to just log into client 810. I'm going to put in a user ID 101. I'm going to put a user ID. And then I'm going to put a password. Okay, now <clears throat> what's going to happen is it's going to come up with this screen which shows me uh, the menu. This is called the SAP menu. So one of the things, first thing I'm going to show you is, when you log on to the system, SAP system, you want to know which system you are logging on to. Okay, for that you have this icon here. If you click on this icon, it will go away. If you click on it, it will come up. If you click on this icon, you will see. You can flip. You can see which system you are logged on to. Let's say I want to just display the user. I can just click on user. So I only get my user displayed. So for now, I'm just going to keep both system and client number. Okay. So next thing you want to know is you want to know what uh, database this software is installed on, what operating system this software, and what kind of version you are dealing with. So for that, what we are going to do is we're going to go to system status. So here what, what it displays is it displays most of the in information for you. For example, it displays the client number, the user ID you are logged on us and the language you are logged on us. It also shows you, shows you the previous logon date and time. It shows you what component you are dealing, you are, since you are logging on to here. Shows you something about installation number. It shows you the operating system, the database behind which is running the software. Okay. So if you want to even know more about different software components installed in the system, you can just go click here, and it will show you the various software components and then the different versions installed in the software. Okay, so you can just click on the software and go down. It will show you all the components installed. Okay. close out of this so if you want to know more about <coughs> this uh, database and uh, operating system you can just click on this button here you get more information on the database and then the software kernel okay software kernel the kernel is the SAP kernel so that's the, it gives you the version 7.0 and then the compilation is so it gives you the above load all those information which is relevant to the SAP kernel. You it gives you the IP address of the operating system. Okay, let's go close out of this. <clears throat> so when you want to navigate into SAP, SAP navigation is basically by 
transactions. Each activity within SAP is called a transaction. So, for example, if I want to go to a transaction, I can go to, let's say, accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, posting. So, I see FB50 is a transaction, FB50L is a transaction, F-02 is a transaction. So, I can go to a transaction by just double click on, clicking on this icon here that takes me to the transaction and come back. I can also type FB50. It will take me to the same place. Okay. So, if I want to go to a different transaction from this transaction, like for example, F-02, which we saw below it, you need to type, you cannot just type directly FB02. If you type F-02, it will not go. So, for it to, for you to force the transaction to go to the new transaction, you need to type slash N F-02, slash N F-02. That will take you to the new screen from the old screen. So, but if you want, let's say for example, I want to keep this screen, but I also want to have the other screen. So, in that case, you need to type slash O F P slash O F B 50. That means give me it gives going to give me a new screen keeping the existing screen. Okay, so now I have two screens. I have general ledger and I have general ledger posting. Okay. <clears throat> so if you want if you want to open one more screen without just clicking slash show, you can also go here. You have a option to create a, a new session just by going here. Thanks for watching. I'm going to record more videos uh, for uh, explain some of the concepts. Thank you.